As school architects, we work with communities trying to navigate some complex school facility issues. Invariably, sometime during the process, someone will ask, why are we even worried about buildings? I mean, everybody knows the most important thing about student achievement is teachers and teaching. In the big picture, does brick and mortar really matter? It's a logical question to ask. There is a fair amount of research that suggests that a relationship does exist. But it was after an administrator's report at a school board meeting, following the completion of one of our high school projects, that caught our attention. The administrator reported that student discipline referrals had dropped dramatically. When pressed for an explanation, the administrator reported that the new environment, the building, created a calming effect on students, reducing student anxieties. So we wondered, was this unusual, or were there other instances where similar things happened? So we decided to look further. And sure enough, after looking at the very next high school project that was completed, we found similar results despite very different student demographics. So, encouraged by these anecdotal results, we decided to take the next step and conduct our own research. Following a process called evidence-based design, we've created a website to gather data from other school districts who are about to embark on their own construction projects. This data will be gathered before and after construction to test three hypotheses. The first hypothesis is about student behavior, and it reads, improved movement patterns will reduce travel stress, and reduced travel stress will reduce student discipline problems. The next hypothesis is about student engagement. Students that learn in an environment that they report to be more stimulating will also report higher levels of engagement. The final hypothesis is about academic achievement. In schools designed to meet the individual needs of the learner, teachers will report higher student achievement. It's our goal to collect 300 completed surveys and to present the findings at the 2018 Joint Annual Conference of School Boards, School Administrators, and School Business Officials in Chicago, Illinois. We would like to encourage eligible school districts to participate in this research. The study is intended to enhance our understanding of how school facility design may impact student outcomes, ultimately allowing school districts to make informed decisions about how school district resources are best utilized. Thank you very much for considering participating in this research.